tutorial, I'm going to look at the MetaBall uh, tool. Okay, let's get started. So a MetaBall tool kind of looks like a, best way to describe it is like a lava lamp. So all I've done is I've created three spheres. I can leave them just the way they are. And I'm going to come up to, um, if I hold down this subdivision surface area, I can come over here to MetaBall. And um, I need to put all of the spheres into MetaBall. I can do that one at a time, or I can just select all three of these and real quickly drop them into MetaBall. So to select all three, I just drag the big box on top of them and then drag them into MetaBall. And you can see right away what's happening. Now, how do you move it? If I move it, I'm moving the whole MetaBall. So I want to not be selected on MetaBall. I want to be selected on the individual spheres. So I'll move the middle one here. And you can see as I move it, it kind of adds volume to the other ones. So um, shapes that have a lot of faces work best with this tool. So a sphere is a good one. And what you can do with the meta ball is you can raise up the resolution. So I believe if you um, roll down the amount of subdivisions, so if I move it to a 20, you can see that if I move the spheres now, they look a little bit uh, higher resolution. Careful with that because you can crash your computer. Um, right now, I'm at a a subdivision of 20 as I get lower, right? 20, it gets more, as I get lower, it has more resolution, more faces. Um, but the renderer is a 5, so that's really good. If I render, you'll see that it looks very, very smooth. Okay, so let's um, continue. If I take that middle sphere and let's just make it larger, you can see. Uh, I can scale. I can still scale or rotate shapes, and you can see how that works too. Um, anything else? I think that's about it. So, if um, that's all I have for this tutorial, uh, stay tuned for my other ones. Give this one a try, and good luck.